Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, today I'm going to show you how through the content and the counter property combined people have actually managed to create a ordered and unordered list for you. Let me show you a, a browser preview. Uh, this is a bulleted list quite clearly. It's not the uh, everyday bulleted list that you actually see. It's a little different. We'll soon see why I actually say that. I'm going to make a little bit of a change to the code and uh, let's see how that actually reflects on the browser preview. Give me a sec. <coughs> Notice that I'm changing the content property out here. Let's uh, say control S to save the document, bring the browser up and let's refresh. And notice how you know the uh, bullets actually change into numbers. Now I've used the counter CSS property people. I would suggest that you understand the counter uh, counter reset property, the counter increment property and the content property and then come back to this tutorial and join me. But in a nutshell the counter acts like a variable that can actually be incremented and that's the concept that I've actually used out here. In fact, it'll make a great it'll make great sense to uh, do this uh, whole code all over again for better understanding. So let me select the the whole chunk. Let's delete. I've already saved the document under the name counter dot html. So let's start working with html colon five the latest doc type. Press tab. People, I'm using uh, a code assist package emit to code out real quick. All right. Let's first define my uh, HTML. My HTML will have, let's say, an uh, ordered list with some class. All right. And in turn, it will have an LI list with some content. So let's say lorem, let's say lorem 5 tab. And into 5, 5 such list items tab. <coughs> I'm expanding the code uh, quite quickly simply because I'm actually using emit code assist package uh, with my text editor sublime text 2 cool let's save the document up at this point if I were to bring the browser up let's refresh you just see the um, the uh, ordered list and the most natural uh, original form right after the title tag let me type style press tab and let's start defining my rules the first rule is ols with the class fancy <coughs> and counter reset property reset li now I'll come back to it a little later uh, but what it's actually doing is actually resetting a variable. Which variable? We'll talk about it a little later. Let's write out the next rule. So fancy and li. Basically a descendant rule all li is within ols with the class fancy. That is that is what exactly is the meaning out here. List style. List style is the uh, shortened property and none. Basically, I wouldn't want to use any image, any number, nothing. List style none. That'll ensure that the uh, you know the normal numbering that actually happens with the ordered list wouldn't appear. Now margin bottom ten tab. Why am I actually you know creating this uh, margin bottom? Is that I would want my list items to be spaced out right otherwise we can actually skip it but I found that this works well then let me use the font shorten property let me use uh, 16 px of Helvetica so web safe font people right <coughs> of course you could have chosen a different font a different size too so again uh, a shorten property out here let's save the document up at this point let me refresh and uh, 
the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 do not actually appear simply because uh, I had defined list style shorten property as none. Cool. Now let me continue writing another rule. So OL with the class fancy li before pseudo element people. I want to insert some content before all uh, such allies which are within ULs with the class fancy. That is, uh, that is uh, what it actually means. Now, content property. Now, if you thought that the content property simply picks up some uh, or takes some as a value some text or just empty strings, you are actually wrong. It can have several values like open quotes, close quotes, no quotes, um, uh, atra attribute that is uh, and counter <coughs> so for the first time let me show you how this actually works so yeah I'll tell you what this actually means this means that I would want my list items to act like a variable and count up so you know just declaring a, a variable li out here and um, since I'm just using the counter CSS property, it's gonna act like a variable except upfront the value one. Okay, you know it actually um, gets uh, it starts to increment only once I use the counter increment property. So by itself it wouldn't do anything unless and until I actually use the counter increment property. Increment what? Increment li. Right. <coughs> so, um, allies should act as the counter and should increment itself too. And now you can actually make sense of what counter reset actually does. So, if we, we have another, uh, you know, let's say OL and uh, coming out here, it will reset itself. So, it, maybe it has a value of 6 or 7, should reset itself, go back to 1. That's why we have actually used reset out here, line number 7. <coughs> right. Let's save the document bring the browser let's refresh and uh, uh, quite appropriately and expectedly I just have those numbers 1 2 3 4 and 5 uh, appearing before the list items right -o. let me just uh, format it a little further add some cosmetics background property hash 444 or you could have chosen a different value margin right mm, let's say of uh, 12 px right just just pushing the numbers away from the actual content let me save the document bring the browser let's refresh and uh, you can actually see the numbers appearing uh, inside the background and pushing the rest of the content away right I also need to change the color property so should be white actually appearing in a darkish background makes sense next let's add some padding uh, tab sorry padding of let's say 1 px and 5 px so basically using the padding chart and property one for the top and bottom, five for the uh, left and right sides. Okay, let's save the document, bring the browser, let's refresh, see the change. So, squarish uh, bullets, bulleted numbers actually, a dual kind of a mm, list. Right, if I go out here and just apply the border radius property, people. Yeah, set it at. Uh, 100% that should around the square now I'm going when you know vendor prefixes free I'm not using the vendor prefixes but ideally you should use vendor prefixes wherever needed like dash webkit dash 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 mouse dash etc I'm for uh, you know just keeping the code simple I'm just uh, skipping it I just want to go a little quicker don't want to get get stuck there unnecessarily right so you can actually see the rounding happening out here 
um, done. So it's, it's you see it's a a dual uh, list. You you can call it a bulleted list or you can call it a numbered list. It's actually working you know like both dual functionality. Awesome. Now uh, I'm gonna make a change out here and instead of uh, you know just I'm gonna replace this little bit of uh, a string and let's replace it with forward slash 2713 now this actually will generate a symbol people let me just save bring the browser let's refresh exactly uh, this you know it gives you that check mark and the background the margin right the color the padding the border radius everything else just remains as is so this was just another variation and uh, in which case I don't actually need the counter increment I can delete it and I can also delete the counter reset property that I had used uh, here so they are no longer necessary if you just want to go with the check the check mark uh, list people so people uh, you know, just shown you a couple of ways in which you can uh, go a little different be a little extraordinary be one step up uh, than the others and uh, control your list items a lot better so maybe you, you know you, you can get uh, some more fancy more fancier than I've actually gotten out here and create something really useful something really um, dramatic so people I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace do sub do comment do let me know if you uh, think uh, I did a decent job you have a good day bye bye peace